after doing the Dixall Pike, let's assume that you did not trigger any symptoms. The Dixall Pike is going to look at the posterior canal and the anterior canal. So if there were no symptoms triggered, it potentially could be in the horizontal canal. In order to test for the horizontal canal, we're going to do the supine head roll. So you'll take the patient and you'll go ahead and lie them back and you'll support their head, tilt at 30 degrees pitch, and you're going to turn their head 90 degrees to the left and you'll look for involuntary eye movement. After 30 seconds, you'll bring them back to midline and then you'll turn their head to the opposite side. And again, you're looking for involuntary eye movement. And sit the first kind of nystagmus you might see is what's called geotropic nystagmus. The eyes will move side to side, beating faster towards the ground or the earth, which is where the name geotropic comes from. If you see this type, you'll want to repeat the test on the other side of the head to confirm the same type of eye movement towards the ground and make sure you make note of which side produces faster, more intense symptoms. This is known as the affected side. The next type of eye movement you might see is a side-to-side -side nystagmus that beats faster towards the ceiling rather than towards the ground. Again, you'll want to repeat the test to take note of which side produces faster movements and more intense symptoms to know which is your affected side. This will be important later in treatment. Finally, you will see the eyes beating downwards, and again, this will last for about 90 seconds, so it should be fairly easy for you to pick out if this is happening.